Hi guys, Mike here and welcome to today's video. In today's video I want to talk about some safety features that makes it a little bit harder for the common thief to steal your beloved teardrop trailer. It's In our case it's, it's a Bushwrecker but if you have a DIY one or some other brand I think we all love our little trailers and we want to enjoy them quite a long time so therefore um, we came up with the th three safety solutions if you want to call it like that to make it a little bit harder for the for the common thief to take your stuff if you deal with professionals your stuff is gone no matter what so the first one is this tent we put our teardrop trailer in a tent or an enclosure for that matter we don't live in a city though so we don't have a garage we have an acreage and therefore we have to use this tent meaning if you don't see the trailer from the road you look up on a tent and maybe you drive along if you are nosy and you want to check out my stuff well it is what it is right so if you don't put your trailer in a garage or a V storage facility for that matter um, there's a likelihood that it's been gone right if you park it in the back alley I don't know your neighborhood just saying so make it as invisible as possible that's that's how I see it on my property right if you look up on a tent you see the tent not the trailer okay number two here is this Reese ball hitch lock and um, well it's not top of the line it's not bottom of the line I say it's middle of the road and as you can see definitely improves uh, the safety features um, if you want to crack this open a professional thief probably have it open in next to no time um, for the average uh, Joe Donut out there uh, probably is a little bit of a hiccup holds you a little bit back you probably need some more heavy equipment like a hammer or a bolt cutter um, stuff like that I don't know if you can smash this with uh, with a stone like a like a boulder kind of thing here on the side on the location I I have no idea but at least you have this in place and if your trailer is gone and this is on the ground and you take some pictures you have some good evidence for your insurance company that they um, they pay you or refund you the the loss of the unit and we all know how much fun it is to deal with um, security um, it's not security with uh, insurance people so um, this is definitely even this is a cheaper brand um, a good piece of advice if you have that on there for your uh, insurance provider that you can claim claim the money I'm guessing I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure okay let's come to number three all right Mike what have you done I cut off the safety chain with a bolt cutter right underneath here as you may saw in the previous scene and some people ask yourself why did I do that there are some fancy and very creat creative guys out there who use these chains they are attached welded on the frame and if you have the lock in place they use the chain uh, hook it into itself and use the loop to drag your trailer away they use the chain for that matter so I cut it off and now I have one link two links originally left from the original chain left on and I went to uh, Princess Auto in Canada probably probably something similar to Harbor Freight in the States but I never been to Harbor Freight so I'm not 100% certain if it's the right thing but when I looked on Harbor Freight flyers probably a similar idea so I bought these silver uh, chain extension links and what it does 
they have them in different strengths and weight uh, weights and stuff like that so I bought this one here I take the chain hook it on and now I hook it on to my existing link on the trailer Okay guys, I have in here a lockable bolt and uh, this is definitely another addition to the safety features for theft. Let's say you have your trailer hooked up and you have your security lock on there and you have your chains on there and nobody could take the trailer off the ball if you have a pin like this in there somebody will pull the diaper pin out and steals your trailer including the, the, the hitch put it in their truck and drive down the road without breaking out into sweat at all whatsoever so that's something you should consider anyhow i wish you a very good day and a blessed one